Hi Leo, this is Psychic Bella Love and I am here to do your second half of July love reading. Now this is going to be for the second half of the month of July and this is going to resonate with you if you have your sun, moon, rising, Venus or Jupiter in the sign of Leo. And if you feel like this isn't resonating, make sure that you check out the videos for your corresponding signs and those placements. Now for my um, cross watchers, those who are wondering what's going on with their Leo, some of the roles may be reversed in the reading. So if you hear me referring to Leo, but the role fits you, then you know what to do. Also, just to keep in mind that I consider my readings more timeless. However, when I asked Spirit, when I was pulling cards beforehand and meditating, what they specifically wanted me to share with Leo for the second half of the month of July, this is the energy that they were giving me. Now, I am a psychic medium and a tarot reader. I meditate, do a quick reading um, with both the cards and just um, speaking with my spirit guides off camera before we start. Because otherwise, if I'm sitting here pulling cards, it's going to take forever and these videos get long enough. So I just wanted to make sure that we got these out on time for you guys. I am running behind a little bit late and I'm in a different location, but I'm trying to make sure that I keep up and that we are on time with everything. Okay, guys, I'm sorry about that. So Leo, I know for a lot of you, this has been a really big month when it comes to love. I feel like a lot of you have been dealing with people coming back or you're very aware that they're going to return. And by being aware, what I mean is for a lot of you, you're going to be seeing that um, maybe you've watched quite a few tarot videos and so you're saying like, okay, like everybody keeps saying this person that I have in my mind is coming back. But I feel like for a lot of others of you, it's an intuitive knowing that you're having. And by that, I mean that I feel like quite a bit of you are actually having dreams that this person has called you, having dreams about them. Um, you are seeing their pictures, you know, like it's like, oh, somebody posted a picture of them on Instagram at some birthday party. Or you're seeing their name everywhere. Um, there's definitely a lot of that going on right now. And so those are your signs from the universe just preparing you for this person, you know, to return. So it's like if you feel like you just can't escape Josh, that's because the world is preparing you to be ready for Josh to return. And so if you have not already seen your person come back yet, I do feel like there is going to be a lot of that happening for my Leos in the second half of the month. Um, and I feel like for quite a few of you, this person that you are seeing coming back in is going to be a water sign. So um, just be prepared though, if you are dealing with a water sign, I feel like there's a still a lot of back and forth energy with that person because overall this person has good intentions. Overall, it's like, I love my Leo. I wanna make things work with them. I really want this relationship to be okay. I don't want to lose them and I miss them. But it's like when they come in, it's almost like they're doing weird things. <laughs> and part of it may be that some of them are sabotaging it because they feel like they're not ready and or they're not worthy of Leo and Leo's going to get rid of them anyway. So it's like, oh, let me just screw everything up so that way you could do it sooner because that's my worst fear and I know it's going to happen. Whereas others are going to see that their person is so scared of losing them that they're being controlling. So it, just try to kind of like be prepared for that is what Spirit is saying. Because I do feel like for some of you, it may really throw you. Like, oh my gosh, you know, and we're just, poor Josh is just getting his butt kicked in this video. But, you know, we're just using Josh as an example. And I don't know anybody named Josh. But, <laughs> you know, here's Josh. He's coming in. We've been waiting all year after the breakup for him to return. Now he's here, except he's doing things that he knows per, like on purpose upset me or he's telling, you know, getting on my case because I didn't respond to his text message within five minutes because he texted me and I was driving home from work and there was a cop behind me and I couldn't look or respond. And just be prepared that, you know, there may be some of that energy going on. That's because your person is scared. That's because they feel like they can't 
live up to what they need to be to be with you and they know that they already screwed up once and it's just like I don't want to screw up again and I want to screw up again and I want to screw up again oh I screwed up so I feel a lot of Leo's kind of being like oh my god really you came back just to okay well that was great Josh get out <laughs> you know um so for some of you, I feel like you just have to keep that in mind so that way you don't react. Because especially if this is a water sign trying to push your buttons, you don't want to react to it because then they got some sort of attention out of you. And then it just leads to them feeling like, okay, well, that's what I resort to now when me and Leo have a situation happening. And you don't want to give this person's license to just sort of treat you however and come and go as they please or that you're gonna let them just like you know talk to you any kind of way or tell you what to do but for some of you like I said it's more about keeping in mind that that's why this behavior is happening and not letting it completely derail everything that you waited so long for to happen again just use your own discretion Leo because you guys are great at reading a room. You're great at reading people. You're great at being like, I know exactly how to how to handle this. I mean, that's why there are so many Leos who are so successful in business, like Fortune 500 people. Because you guys know how to just read people. You don't have to be psychic. It's just you're great at that. So you know how to kind of, and this is your person, you know your person too. So I feel like, you know, you know exactly which way to go with things. If it's just like... I'm not dealing with the same crap again, so just get the heck out. You know, you'll know to do that. If it's just like, I just need to ignore them while they act like this, and then they'll see it doesn't work, do that. <laughs> you know, it's really, you're going to have to trust your discretion this month, though, Leo, especially in the second half of the month. And also, happy birthday to any Leos who are celebrating this month as well, because I know that there's a few July Leos, you know, and you guys definitely... I have the best of both worlds because you're so close to cancer season that, you know, you get to have that lovely, intuitive can uh, water flowing through you, which helps you read people and you guys have the kindest hearts and everything, but then you also know how to be a Leo and take charge and make stuff happen. And I absolutely love that about you as well. <laughs> now for some other Leos, especially those who are dealing with earth signs, I feel a lot of butting heads this month because, you know, the earth signs trying to dig their feet in and be like, no, this is who I am. I'm not changing. And other, you know, the Leos are taking on their full lion form, ready to be like, I'm not backing down off of this one. So if we're going to have any kind of resolution to this, get up, let's go do it my way. So just be very aware of that because especially if it has anything to do with somebody that you really, really want this relationship to work and you may have been already kind of like having a little bit of a rocky time and the energy this month is going to lead to, you know, misunderstandings and people being a little on edge. Take a step back and just breathe and really think about if this is something that you guys can find common ground and to be able to compromise on because the last thing that you want to do is just be so stubborn that it makes the other person be even more stubborn just out of spite and then you guys are sort of in this war of who can be more stubborn but in the end you lose each other because of it because that's a very real possibility this month so you just have to kind of like what spirit keeps putting the words in my head do I want to be right or do I want to be happy and I think that that is a big choice that Leo's in relationships or trying to salvage or put back together a relationship are going to have to think about this month. Of course, everybody has core values. I don't want you to ever be disrespected. I don't want you to get cheated on or any of those horrible things. But on the other hand, if it's something as simple as I want our bedroom to be blue and you want it to be pink, well, can you guys pick purple? You know, things like that can really, it could really be something very small, very superficial that really doesn't matter. But it's just that energy that Mercury retrograde tends to bring out in some of us where we're very irritable and stubborn. And Leo's, 
nobody can be more stubborn than you guys sometimes. Like, I know, like, other signs kind of get that, but I feel like Leos can be the most stubborn because you guys will make up your mind and just be like, I'll sit in the same spot until I'm 100 years old, and you guys will. <laughs> so keep that in mind if you really want things to work out, okay? And then others that are coupled up, I feel like you guys will be okay this month, you know? I mean, there's squabbles, misunderstandings, things like that. But I think that, especially if you're with an air sign, they know when to back off. So I feel like a lot of Leos who are dating air signs, your person may seem a little distant, but that's more because they can sense that irritation coming in you. And so it's just like, I know how my Leo acts when they have that hangry attitude. Hangry, I think, is a good description for this energy, you know? And I'm just going to back up and let you be and let you figure this out, you know? And so if you feel that your partner is being distant, check your own temperature and see if that's why. Because they're vibing off of you is what Spirit is saying. So, you know, if you're dealing with another fire sign, God help you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but... You know, two fire signs that can be a little irritable at the same time can be a recipe for some dynamic explosions. But I don't, I feel like even if you're dating another other um, fire sign, especially like a Sagittarius, what Spirit's saying is, it's like, you guys could have some knockdown drag out fights where literally the house does get set on fire, but neither one of you breaks up with each other over it. It's kind of like, okay, like we both got crazy and now we can just go have some awesome like makeup sex and be totally fine now. And it's really funny because it's like, don't do this with any other sign. But like, it's like, if it's with another fire sign, I feel like you guys just get each other. So it's really not that big of a deal. It's like, yeah, whatever. That's how we are when we're both really mad. So I get it, you know, and then you guys just go get the hose out and start cleaning everything up. <laughs> so... I think that you have a very exciting month, Leo, but I think it's going to be good. Also, even though this is a love reading, I, you know, if Spirit shares more info with me on anything else, I share with you. I do feel like a lot of Leos are going to see some business deals start to pick up towards the end of the month, especially like the last few days of the month as we are getting into August. So if you have recently created some sort of a project or you have some sort of business idea that you want to sell to another company, I feel like a lot of you are actually going to see offers come in. If it's not an offer, it is a meeting that is going to lead to that offer. So that's really exciting for a lot of you. Just had to share that with you. But Leo, if you wanted a personal private reading with me, again, all my info will be in the description box below. Make sure you guys are following avidadvice.com. It is the number one psychic site. And like I said, they always have new client specials. Sometimes that's free minutes. Sometimes it's, you know, a free email reading. So make sure that you are checking them out on social media. So that way you can keep up to date with all the newest specials. And if you wanted to get a hold with me and it's an emergency, I'm usually always available on there. All right, guys, have a good one. And I will see you again in August. Bye.